Alright, so we're here for round two, playing against the Burnosaurus. Hopefully he or she is on burn, but it doesn't look like they're on burn. Um, Boros is kind of a tricky matchup, and I think I may have screwed up a little bit in sideboarding for this. Hopefully the extra value with the Archaeomancers pays off. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I brainstorm. I don't have a ninja yet, so there's no reason to run out the sprite. And I preordain a bunch, trying to get a good hand. I have a counter spell up. I probably should have counter spelled this instead of spell start, because obviously they're going to bolt it. But. You know, whatever. You gotta kind of take your opportunities with spells there, and then they play this guy. Uh, that's Boros for you. So I bolt it. Leave up a uh, counter spell. Maybe I should have been more patient and left up both counter spell and spell stutter. I could have countered this, which maybe I probably should have, because I don't know. Then their sky fishers are a little worse, but I figure they could pick up Inspector. So, I'm not too keen on countering something that they've already got multiple copies of on the battlefield. Like, multiple sort of pickup effects. So we draw a ninja, which is one of the tools we need to get back in this game. We will try to spell stutter at the end of their turn, although... I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. In fact, I probably sh Well... I countered their core sky fisher, which is probably a good idea because if I let it resolve, I can't spell stutter and then get the ninja in. Um, they probably have a removal spell because they play a lot, but uh, I guess I'm feeling a lot of pressure at this point. Maybe I should have waited though. So they burn it at the end of their turn. Yeah, luckily we draw an auger, so we can maybe get this ninja in, maybe. Memory lapse. Another thing is, I probably should have played Archaeomancer here uh, just to get it down and get back, I don't know, maybe a lightning bolt or something. Because then I can, like, hold up counter spell and bolt something and maybe attack and get the ninja in. And look, they're doing nothing, so, like, they could just crack clues. So, obviously, I should have played this last turn, but I get back a counter spell. It's not too bad. Counter spell is one of the best cards. They have Firebolt, which really is really tilting because nobody plays Firebolt anymore. Maybe they do. I don't really keep up with the mana. But yeah, it's still kind of tilting to lose to this card. So they play Battle Screech, which is also really annoying, but it's a good memory lapse target, so I lapse it. They Bog, which is also annoying, and maybe... They play Journey to Nowhere, which maybe I should have counterspelled. I know they've got a Battle Screech coming off, but... I don't know, it makes my flickers worse to have this gone. Dispel's kind of useless. Actually, maybe it's not useless. Maybe I just didn't play it at the right time. I don't know. There's a lot of things. I took a lot of notes this game. And... Yeah. So hopefully I play it better next time. Still a great memory lapse target. It has flashback. You always want to counter flashback spells with this. So I play Arcana to get back memory lapse for the value. I don't know what happened to our ninja. I think we brainstormed it away. Maybe it got exiled. Yeah, I think we brainstormed it away for some reason. I don't know. We just keep drawing lands. We finally have to counter this because they're going to get a bunch of screech tokens. And then they play palace sentinels. Uh, I don't know, maybe I could have held on to the counter spell, but I don't think I'm winning this game. So I play Ninja out, maybe I'll be able to attack with it. 
I don't know. I wish I had more removal. I wish I had more counter magic. Also, the firebolt. I don't know. There's nothing I can do. Scred, I kill pal sentinels, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to attack through all these bird tokens. They attack. They're playing a bunch of lands, which is not too bad for me. And they play another Palace Sentinels. It's a pretty good wall. And they electric read my guy. And I draw days, so I'm like, that's not gonna do it. So I actually in the last in the next game I side out days, which is probably a mistake, because Days is amazing in this matchup. Also I think I made a pretty crazy misplay in this game. I did I did side out days, which is horrible. And I think against the Monarch deck, Hydro Blast is worse than Dispel because they have a bunch of red instants, but they also have Prismatic Strands. So you could counter that with Dispel if you have to. Uh, I probably also should have left in Echoing Truth just to maybe tempo my opponent out. They play a lot of creatures with the, the same text. And it could also take care of some Screech tokens. Yeah, and maybe I should have played Vapor Snag. I don't know. I probably should have sided out all my Archaeomancers and tried to go for a fast tempo draw. Because I think, really, that's how I'm winning this game. A fast tempo draw with Ninja. And maybe I should have left Stormbound Geist in as a beater. Um... I also brought in a Swirling Sandstorm for some reason. I don't know why. It was probably a pretty big mistake on my part. Um, yeah, but let's see if these horrible sideboarding decisions I made in the game uh, work to my advantage. Spoilers, they don't. <laughs> Alright, so Windscarred Crag for my opponent. They're setting up. So maybe I should have even played Spell Stutter in the hopes that I draw a ninja, but Spell is kinda good in this matchup. It can counter Bolt, it can counter a lot of cool stuff. So I decided to memory lapse this because last time I got burned out when I played Spell Stutter. But this time something cool is gonna happen. They're gonna play their guy. I'm gonna try and counter it. And they're going to bolt it, so I'm going to counter the bolt. And here's where the power of Spell Slither shines. My opponent thought for like a whole minute here. And they decided to bolt one of my Spell Slithers, which is not going to work out well for them. Because it counts the number of fairies on the battlefield um, when this ability resolves. Because they bolt this one. But there's still one on the battlefield, both of their spells are going to get countered. Yeah. Value. So they bog me, whatever. Uh, we aren't really drawing much, but we have these memory lapses, so... I don't know. I memory lapsed this. And I think they bolt my guy, which I probably should have memory lapsed. I draw this useless card. Um, I guess I just wanted to memory lapse the battle screech again. Maybe I should have played Gorilla Shaman here. Because they had one card in hand, and they had a card that I knew was going to be battle screech. And I was thinking, you know, maybe I don't want to play it into the Sandstorm, but... And they only have one target, but I probably still should have it on the battlefield. Like, e even though I can't protect it, I don't know, I, I, they might not have a brain spell. They've already used three. And see, look, I get punished for it immediately. Because I draw a ninja. Uh, I probably should still play Gorilla Shaman. Like, even with this, I don't know. I think it could work. But yeah, I just gave them too much stuff there. I don't even have Threshold for a Sandstorm, so I don't know why I was even thinking about it. Preordain's a pretty good draw. 
counter spell not so good uh, so I have the opportunity to shuffle things away and I shuffled away the gorilla shaman uh, which was also probably a mistake I don't know why I did that that was a horrible play uh, I guess I wanted to hold up counter spell Oh, I can't go back, but I think I put back, what did I put back? Swirling Transform and some other thing. I think maybe I was thinking of, like, countering their play and then shuffling with Ash Baron so I could uh, bolt and then Archaeomancer bolt their Palace Sentinels so I could maybe get an attack in with this ninja. But, uh... I don't, I don't know. I even think about attacking just so I could kill this. They draw a card with the alchemist vial, so I try to counter it, and they, they... Why do they have that? I guess they were sandbagging it the whole time. They pick up Bajuka Bog, I think. And then they flash back their thing. And they just create an unbeatable board presence. Sandstorm is not doing anything because they just bogged us. Yeah, this should be an electric. I don't know why I didn't side that in. Like, I saw this Screech last game, but I thought, you know, maybe they're only playing one. But if they're playing some in the sideboard, like, of course they're going to side them in against me. Like, I just don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, everybody, for uh, for the horrible sideboarding. Alright, I probably apologized enough. Uh, this game basically, you know, I tried to get back Scred. But, no avail. There's no way I could attack with the creature. So, while I'm talking about Swirling Sandstorm, and while I'm getting beat down, uh, I think if you're playing more Archaeomancers, you probably don't need this because if you're playing against elves or some deck where you really want the swirling sandstorm uh... basically scred and lightning bolt and archaeomancer are getting them back will be able to do the job pretty well and electricry of course but like maybe this doesn't even belong in the sideboard so I'm trying to think of things that might be good, uh, good to have in the sideboard. Maybe like Aura Flux, because our deck's more controlling than just as a spike card against Boggles. I don't know. I don't think I need any more Echoing Truths. I've already got two in the seventy-five. So we got pretty crushed that game. Our opponent died with three cards in hand. Uh, yeah, GG's.